A car is moving at a constant speed, very important, on a straight road, which is at an angle of 13 degrees to the horizontal direction. Assuming that upwards is positive, okay, it first question is, is it in equilibrium? Okay, remember what equil equilibrium means, that there is no resultant force. All of the forces cancel each other out so that there is no resultant force. Okay, so is it? Well, remember Newton's first law says when an object is in motion at a constant velocity, it will stay in motion at the constant velocity unless an external force or a resultant force acts on it. And in this case, there is no resultant force on it. That's why it's traveling at a constant speed. So yes, it is in equilibrium. Anything that is stationary or traveling at a constant velocity is in equilibrium. Okay. Next question. What f are the forces acting on it? Choose the letter from the second column to fit the force in the first column. Okay. So the centrifugal force. What? What is that? Well, centrifugal force is when we spin something and because we're spinning it, whatever's attached to it gets thrown off. Okay, it's not got anything to do with this scenario. So what in the second column fits it? Well, obviously A, not a force in this system. So we choose A. Okay, it's not a force in the system. The perpendicular force, which one fits? Not a force in the system? No, normal force is the force that is perpendicular to the surface in the direction of motion? No. Vertically downwards? No. Perpendicular to the surface? This one is indeed correct. Number D. Tension. Okay. There's no tension in this thing. There's no uh, rope that is attached to anything. So there's no tension, not a force in the system, which is A. Next one. Frictional force. Okay. There's definitely frictional force involved here. Yeah, and if it is involved, it is against the direction of motion. That's E. Okay. Applied force by the brakes if the engine is not applying a force. Okay. So if the brakes are involved and the engine is not involved, which one would fit it best? Well, the brakes is causing a deceleration. Okay. Are the brakes involved in this system? Okay. Well, it might be. Okay. He's traveling at a constant velocity. If he's going down the slope, he might be using his brakes to keep his velocity constant instead of accelerating. So if the brakes are being applied, then the brakes are against the uh, direction of motion against the direction of motion because they stop it from accelerating downward so they obviously in the opposite direction e okay um next is applied the applied force oh there's a spelling error that must be applied force i'll make sure to fix it applied force by the engine if it is not applying the brake so let's say it's not braking instead it is uh, using the engine. So this time it's probably going up the incline and using the engine's uh, power to steer it up the incline, but it's still going at a constant velocity, which means in this case it is actually overcoming the acceleration that is, uh, or the, the, the downwards pull of its weight, okay? But it is moving upwards. So the engine will cause a force that is in the direction of motion. So B. B, the engine will obviously apply a force that's in the direction of the motion. Okay, next, weight. Is weight an issue or a force in this system? Of course it is. And weight is always vertically down. C. That's all our answers.